The Georgia High School Association is a voluntary nonprofit organization composed of over 450 public and private high schools. The GHSA administers regulations for region and state competition in 19 sports and two activities. Founded in 1908, the GHSA strives to promote good sportsmanship, participant safety, and fair play among its member schools. For more information, visit ghsa.net. Follow at official GHSA on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. The Georgia High School Association would like to thank its corporate partners for their valuable support of high school athletics and activities. Alpha Insurance, Georgia Electric Membership Corporation, Gatorade, Wilson, BSN Sports, the Atlanta Hawks, Mizuno, Atlanta Braves, Subway, Sports Medicine South, the Atlanta Track Club, NFHS Network, Regions Bank, Max Preps, GoFan, and Georgia Public Broadcasting. This is Gretchen Bailey, Appling County Probate Judge. Appling County has always been my home. The Appling County Pirates have always been my hometown team. Roots are what bind a community, and they run deep in this Appling County resident. The Appling County Probate Court documents your roots, and with each new birth, those roots continue to grow. I desire to honor my roots by serving the citizens of Appling County. Honor your roots this election. Make your voice heard and re-elect Gretchen Bailey, Appling County Probate Judge. Paid for by the candidate. Art Contracting Enterprises in Baxley is proud to sponsor this broadcast. And they're proud to be setting the platinum standard in construction from foundations to finishes. They do it right. Art does everything from commercial and industrial construction to concrete services, structural steel fabrication, and assembling pre-engineered metal buildings. Call owner Travis Bunch at 912-687-0950 or owner Brian Britt at 912-278-4186. Art Contracting Enterprises in Baxley. Small town values. Big time builds. Looking for the perfect manufactured or modular home? Look no further. Introducing Uri's Home Center, your premier manufactured home dealer serving Georgia, Florida, and Tennessee. At Uri's Home Center, we're committed to finding you the ideal manufactured or modular home that fits your lifestyle and budget. Whether you're a first-time buyer, a growing family, or looking to downsize, we have the home for you. Call us today, 912-240-0111, or visit us on the web at urees.com. That's Y-U-R-E-Z-Z.com. Promotion no offers and availability may vary. See store for details. You've reached Cody's cell phone. Please leave me a message after the beep and I'll call you back. Hey man, listen, I know your trailer's busted and you want to borrow mine, but I'm going to need it this weekend. So just do what I did. Go to Down to Earth Trailers in Baxley. Their parts showroom is huge. They will hook you up with everything you need to get your trailer up and running like brand new. They have a huge selection. They've been in business for over 20 years, so you know they're in it for the long haul. Give Down to Earth Trailers a call at 877-363-3007. Are you ready for a rewarding career? Georgia Allied Health Institute in Hazelhurst offers training that leads to real careers in the medical field. They offer day and evening classes as well as courses in a blended format, including on-site labs, online lectures, and externship experiences. Georgia Allied Health Institute also offers certification courses for medical professionals seeking to become eligible to test for certification. Give Georgia Allied Health Institute a call today, 770-370-7686, or visit them online at alliedhealthinst.com. You're listening to the Big Wolf 96.7. This broadcast of Appling County Pirate Baseball is brought to you by Community Bank, Rents and Rents Insurance, Sykes Propane, Down to Earth Trailers, Woody Folsom Ford, Woody Folsom Chevrolet Buick GMC, Erie's Home Center, Trinity Electric, Murray Oil, Village Pizza, South Georgia Insurance Agency, Williams Brothers Trucking, Healthy Community Center, the Lisa Pierce Farmers Insurance Agency, and Ottomaha Building Systems. Let's go live to the field. Welcome in, baseball fans. Another edition of Pirate Baseball, even a bigger one this time, Final Four edition. Appling County versus the Mount Perrin Christian Eagles. And, Mason, it looks to be a good one. That it is, Pat. Very good baseball on both sides of the field. About as good a pedigree as you'll see from two high school programs in AA. But, yes, Mount Perrin Christian Eagles against your Appling County Pirates. Uh, Pirates are one seed, Mount Perrin a two seed in that North Cobb region with their regions both taking care of business over Rock Martin game one. But, yes, we've got a good one on our hands, Pat. I'm going to go ahead and get you this Eagles lineup since we got started a tad bit late today. Leading things off for the Eagles, playing shortstops number 11, Braden Gable. Batting second to third baseman, number 29, Carson Hodges batting third with the catcher number four, Kyle Crisp. Batting fourth, first baseman number 20, Carter Galbraith. Batting fifth, the center fielder number 16, Henry Akapov. 
sat in sixth. The right footer, number two, Chase Landmaster, batting seventh. Number seven, Gabe Hester, designated here. He'll be hitting for number 14, the pitcher, Michael Fadette. Batting eighth will be the left fielder. Number 30, Rhett Bonner. Rounding out that lineup is going to be number 27, Garrett Druggie. Thank you, Mason. Now to lead things off here. Colin E. Watson gets the start on the mound. First pitch from him as a fastball catches the outer half. 0-1 to Gable. He was a little bit behind on time here trying to get set up. Is that one going to be fouled back into the net? 0-2. And, and Colin quickly ahead. As we've talked in the past, Mason, the inning that he has seemed to have trouble with has been the first, and after that, he hasn't had much trouble at all. He tries to get him to chase a slider outside. He does not. One and two. And that is correct. And, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize. I made a mistake. Chase Landmaster is actually playing second base. Bonner's in left field, Drogi in right, and Aka Robinson. One, two. Got out in front of a fastball there. Hit it down the left field line and foul. So, yes, uh, best wishes to our pals down the road in Ware County as they're having a difficult time right now with Cartersville. They've got a very, very tough Final Four series ahead of them. And that breaking ball to me, Watson misses down and away. So two and two to count. Righty, righty matchup. He Watson delivers to Gable. And he bounces that one three and two. So starting off very strong and then Gable's worked himself back in this count here. Three balls and two strikes. Top half of the first here in game number one of the doubleheader this Saturday. Payoff pitch. Hard ground ball into the 5 six hole. Dive by Grayson Hall. It gets right past his glove, and that's a leadoff single for Gable. So Gable had a very good at bat there. Registered a quality at bat. Did a great job of making him watch and throw a lot of pitches in that first at bat after he jumped ahead. So that's going to bring up Carson Hodges playing third base for the Eagles this afternoon. And this game is already starting out very exciting path as we thought this series would be. I don't think it's arguable who the best team's pretty good lead over at first. Catches outside corner 0-1. And that is Hodges in the box. We've seen a bunch of good baseball teams this year. But I don't know if we've seen anything to this caliber. I don't. I can think of our, our foes right down the road. Jeff Davis could sure enough play with either team on this field when they're healthy. Um, I know a few things didn't go their way as Colony Walton picks off over the first. Nothing doing. Dives back in safely as Gable. But, yeah, Jeff Davis is a great baseball team. Could easily be right here. But, yeah, on the Pirates schedule, Mount Perrin ranks up right there at the top. Very aggressive lead at first, and we see it, and we spike one into the ground on the second straight pickoff move, and Gable's able to move up 90 feet. So it goes back to what several of us were talking about for regain. game that keys to success here are it's a very short list, staff, but very important ones, and free passes, free bases, and just extra opportunities for a team the caliber of Mount Perrin is not going to aid well in your defense. Now, you have to play clean baseball today. You cannot give free passes. You cannot give free bases. As this team will make you pay, that it will. See, just like this, a sacrifice bunt goes from moving him to second to now moving him to third. With one out, then your 3-4 hitter. Big swing and a miss there from Hodges to a fastball from Lee Walton. 0-2. Oh so he went back-to-back fastball to get him into the 0-2 count. Conservative lead out at second. Dason holding him on. Dason out at second today. Got him looking. They call that a ball. I I agree with the call. I agree with the call. That was a ball. Off the plate. Great job there as a pitching coach and a pitcher. You want to stretch that zone further away. Especially when you got an 0-2 count. You want to see what he's going to give you. And by the end of the game, if you're continuing to do that, you're going to gain a few inches. So, good call there by the umpire. Great execution there from me, Walson. That's where he wants it. Got him swinging on the high fastball. Just one pitch later. And that'll be out number one. And that's going to bring up the catcher, Kyle Crisp. 
very good crowd here for a 4 o'clock game on a Saturday. We got a bunch of folks here. Shoot, we even got one of the old voices of the Pirates that showed up here today. We do. Cal Chris stepping in the left-handed batter's box here. First lefty of the afternoon here for Walton. He'll be taking care of duties behind the dish this afternoon for Mount Perrin. Change up outside corner. Called for a strike. I wouldn't want And you can tell they play on a lot of turf tap. None of these boys have on metal spikes. It's all molded. That is a good pickup. I didn't even notice that. 0-1 here to the eagle catcher, Chris. Another changeup that misses up in the zone. Uh, Mason Cullen in the playoffs is 3-0. He does have a save to his credit. Has allowed two runs, two earns, seven walks, and 30 strikeouts with a .72 ERA. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So about a 3.1 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio in the playoffs. Pretty solid. Tried the back door one there. Didn't get it. Two and one. And it's pretty interesting here. Chris has actually called the two changeups breaking balls, and then the changeup right, or the breaking ball right there, he actually signaled back to his boys that was a changeup. Huh. That's very, very confusing. And there may be a purpose in it. I don't know. Yeah, I've never seen anyone do that, especially when you're a catcher. And I've heard some great reports on Chris, high-line ball player, very good behind the dish as well. And he's an anchor to this Mount Perrin Eagles team. Swing a very good bat. I've seen enough film on him and tape on him to know he can, he can hit it. So he's one of the ones we're not letting us letting beat us here, and that is a fastball in there for a call strike. Maybe an inch or two below the knees, and Chris did not like that, as you could visually see on his face. So that evens the count. Two balls and two strikes. So Colin has showed him all off speed until that last pitch with a fastball. May have him guessing here. 2-2 two, two pitch on the way. Breeze feeling mighty good to call time, and he grants it. That was an interesting time call. Shot that he gave it to him, but he did. And it would have been a strike. It would have. So, two and two here. We'll do it again. If you're just joining us, we're still on the top half of the first. Game number one, you've got plenty of time to get out here. Zero to zero, Mount Perrin. Still on offense, and that changeup misses up in the zone. Three balls and two strikes here to the three-hole hitter, Chris. So this is the second three-ball count, or I say second full count, that Colony Watson's faced in this first inning of work. Mount Perrin has one runner on the base path out at second base. Single to lead the game off. Fastball got him looking. And some fire behind home plate is going to set the tone very early. And he is letting everybody know where his strike zone is. And this is this is more of a strike zone that I was used to in the, the later part of my career. Um, this is a true elite strike zone here, working from about an inch below the knees. He's a, he's a pitcher's umpire, for sure. So Carter Galbraith in the box. I thought that was an interesting name. As there's one over in Jeff Davis with the same exact name. That it is. Good to hear the good news on him. He's doing much better from yes, my sir. understanding. That is what I've been told to. So two outs here, top half of the first. Carter Galbraith in the box for the Eagles. He's playing first base for them. Braden Gable, the lone Eagle runner out at second base. Two outs and a 1-0 and count here to Galbraith. Zero to zero. Very short lead out at second. Fastball back to letters, 2-0. and oh. Pirates in their all-white jerseys today, red pinstripes, red hats. Mount Perrin in that, I almost want to say a beige color uniform. Now, I'll be honest with you, I would have caught it white because I cannot see very well. When it comes to colors, it's, a, it's an off-white blue letters. That pitch catches 
left the zone. And that's the exact pitch you were just talking about, Mason. But if you keep hitting it there, you'll probably get that pitch. Oh, yeah. And that's a pitch, if you're calling on Watson on the mound or for debt sitting in Mount Farron's dugout, you're taking note of this. If you're a pitcher, this is what you want behind the plate. A guy that is going to be your friend at the floor of the zone. You got him to pop it up foul. Two and two. And as Colin toes the rubber again, congratulations to Charlton County and Lanier County that we play in each other. Two South Georgia teams, Southwest Georgia, South Georgia, uh, meeting up at J.I. Clement Stadium for the 1A Division Two, Division B championship. Is that correct, Tap? That is. Yeah, I think Lanier surprised a lot of people, and that'll be a good matchup down in single A. They did. Everybody expected Charlton to be there, but... Yep. Yeah. yeah, that is region. Yes. Same region. It'd be like an Appling County, Pierce County game back in 2012. And yeah, Lanier County shocked a lot of people. Actually, Tap, I'm going to take you way back. The head coach at Lanier County actually coached in Appling County in the early to mid-90s. I'll give you a second if you can figure that one out. Early to mid-90s. Aver? A little earlier than that. Ropey negative. I'm guessing because I'm just going back as far as I can remember. You stumped me. Payoff pitch here to Galbraith. It's going to be popped up foul. Almost caught a piece of the light pole down the right side. We'll do it again. He wants him throwing a lot of pitches here in the first. Nothing uncommon. He did it exactly the same way last week. John White. John White. I remember that now. And I believe this is his last year as the head guy in Lanier, so props to him. Three balls and two strikes to Galbraith. Trying to go out on top, eh? Yes, sir. And that fastball misses upstairs for ball number four. So, single from able to lead things off. Then two straight strikeouts, one swinging, one looking. And then Galbraith takes a very quality at bat and earns a walk. So first and second, two outs. Henry Akpov in the box. And, yes, they're already making common labor more than you would like to see here in game number one because those 120 pitches, each one of them is very precious in a series like this. They sure are. Pick off a temp out at second. He only had about a three or four step lead. Just pretty conservative from the second base bag. But we wanted to keep him honest. Yeah. And you got to think, Gable's got pretty good speed here. Caden Walls is fairly deep in left field. Jack Carter's got a very good arm and right. He's playing a little deeper than normal. Hangs up. Fouled straight back into the net. So 0-1, here to Henry Akpov, center fielder. I'm glad you got that pronunciation right because I would have butchered that. Akpov awaits to 0-1. Fastball, not sure where that missed. I don't think it did miss. That's one of the few that I've really disagreed with. One ball, one strike, two outs. Runners at first and second for Mount Perrin here in the top half of the first. You got him swinging at the fastball, and that's one and two. Oh, he thought that was uh, only a one-two count. And you can already see tempers and emotions are flaring here as Akapov thought he had struck out and that poor bat got the short end of the stick there. He yeah, sure did. And the, the grass did as well. And it did. So one and two. Here to the Eagles center fielder. Great stop there by Livingston. He's spiked one behind the plate. Two and two now. I 
be shocked if this is not a changeup. I'm seeing a lot of velocity here. A ton of it. And Colin can throw that changeup whenever he wants to. 2-2. Two, two. Fastball blew it by him. And that'll get us out of the inning. And the threat is minimized to a zero. That's as minimized as you can get. Yeah, neutralize the threat right there, Colin. And he walks and labored a little more than he would have liked to in the top half of the first. But what means the most is the score still 0-0 zero to zero heading into the bottom half of the first. Game one of the final four series, best of three here in Backwood, Georgia. You're listening to Pirate Baseball on 96.7, Big Wolf. Everyone at South Georgia Insurance Associates wants to wish the Appling County Pirate Baseball team a fantastic season. South Georgia Insurance Associates is an independent agency bringing the best in auto, agribusiness, recreational vehicle, church, flood, and business insurance to Baxley and surrounding areas. They work with many different insurance companies to find a plan that's perfect for you. You can learn more about the services and resources that South Georgia Insurance Associates offers and request a quote online at SGIAinsurance.com. That's SGIAinsurance.com. Go Pirates. There are many ways to establish a working relationship with your bank. Let us help you find the perfect relationship here at Community Bank of Georgia. Our knowledgeable staff is committed to forming a relationship with each customer to provide a sense of unity to obtain the highest level of customer service. Whether you are opening a checking account for your children or opening your first business, experience relationship banking the way it used to be here at Community Bank of Georgia. Come see me, Perry White or any of our courteous staff at Community Bank of Georgia at 700 West Parker Street in Baxley. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Identify yourself. WUFE and W244CR. Baxley. I like them even better now. The greatest hits of all time. The Big Wool 96.7. All right, welcome back. I'm going to try to get you a lineup really quick. Uh, and actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just read the names. E. Lawson Hall, Griffith, Nance, Livingston, Anderson, Pike, for Jack Carter out in right, Isaac Edenfield, Caden Wall. So exactly what we ran the last series in the first game. And they're going to face for debt, a Georgia Tech commit. That he is fast. Very good surgeon on the mound, as I've already had him explain once or twice in that realm. So, very good arm. And Colony walks in the first one to greet him. And that fastball misses out. Had to be because it was just above the belt. Which he does prefer the lower half of the zone, I believe. And for that one, very fast on the mound. Chopper up the middle, and it's through for a base hit. Lead off single for the Pirates. A great way to start it there. And Colony walks and come out and compared to what he was doing during the regular season, during the region play, he's definitely cooled down some. But that's a very positive note pass. You see Colony Walton barrels the ball up first at bat, right back up the middle. And go ahead and set that aggressive tone here. As we know, for that's a very good pitcher. You do not want to get behind. You want to hit that fastball when it's there. That you do. Garrison Turner going to be the courtesy runner for the pitcher, E. Walton. It's going to bring up Grayson Hall. I expect to see some small ball here. I do, and I can hear the Mount Perrin fans behind us. It looks like even the mom and dads watched a few videos and read the scouting report. And it's a great bun if it stays fair, but it gets foul. And like we were talking about earlier, things like this, this is what this series will depend on, which team can execute the best on all of these small but very important qualities of the game and pieces of the game. Turner with a very minimal lead at first. He gets that one down right back at the pitcher. He's going to go to first with it. They'll concede the 90 feet. As Turner's in the thicket, but they get the out in the process. Now we do, so one out. Runner in scoring position. And... We'll give Dyson Griffiths and N.J. Nance an opportunity to drive in an early run here for the Pirates and take the lead. And Dyson Griffiths might be the hottest bat on the Pirate team right, right now. I would agree with that. And, and honestly, coming up big, too, is you see the shortstop actually holding Turner on, leaving a lot of room in that 5-6 hole. 
inside one and oh. But the question here is, how aggressive are they with Dayton? I know they've done their scouting report. You got NJ Nance waiting on deck. Let's see how how likely they are to go at him. And they probably do know who he is for sure. And Dayton pops that one up. It's in foul territory. Now it's drifting back. First baseman drops it. And it's a fair ball. It is a foul ball. I thought it hit inside the white line. They said he was in foul territory. Very tough for us to see from this angle. Very tough play to make as well. So you hate it if you're an Eagle fan, but Jason Griffiths does get another life here. One and one will be the count as he's stepping back in the box. One out, bottom half of the first. Still zero to zero here in game number one. Garrison Turner, the lone pirate base runner out at second. Courtesy runner for Colony Watson, who's single to lead the bottom half of the first off. Dayson pops another one up straight over our head. And he's behind one and two. One ball, two strikes. One out, runner out at second. High drive out in the right field. Right fielder's drifting back. He does make the catch. Garrison Turner's going to tag, and he'll pull in the third easily. There will be two outs. So, not exactly what we were looking for there, but a very productive out, and that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to turn all of these outs that are not RBIs or space hits in a productive out. So, that one, yet we wish could have got down for a hit. It's not necessarily a negative at all as Garrison Turner moves up 90 feet. And with two outs, anything can happen here. We can. First pitch here to N.J. Nance. Got him behind the fastball, 0-1. Yeah, he tried to gear up a little more on that fastball, and Fredette blew it right by him. Upstairs, 1-1. From the video I've seen and the tape I've seen, very sound catcher. Wouldn't expect many pass balls and stuff, but as you said, with two outs, you never know. Breaking ball right down the middle, one and two. One and two here to Nance, Appling County center fielder, Garrison Turner, 90 feet away at third base. Got him chased a fastball on the outer half, and that is out number three. And both teams leave them stranded in scoring position. In the first, top half of the second coming up, no score. You're listening to Pirate Baseball on 96.7, the Big Wolf. When should you call Lisa Pierce at the Lisa Pierce Agency in Baxley? If you drive this. If you fly this. If you ride this. Lisa Pierce is serious about protecting your business investments and toys. Stop and see Lisa Pierce at 395 West Parker Street in Baxley or call her at 912-367-4100. She makes it personal. Underwritten by Farmers, Truck Fire Insurance, Exchanges, and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. Nothing beats that ride home after winning the big game, especially if you're riding home in your new ride from Woody Falls from Chevrolet Buick GMC. Woody's highly trained team has been coached to get you the most car for your money and the most money for your car. Let us go to bat for you. Whether you're looking for the latest, greatest, top-of-the-line sports car or a safe, sensible SUV to take the kids to and from the game, you'll find your perfect ride when you talk to Woody. Together, let's drive to Woody Falls from Chevrolet Buick GMC and Baxley. Resetting your password, unsubscribing from emails, printing anything. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your business doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like learning how that printer works. That's simple human sense. See Rinse and Rinse Insurance, South Main Street in Baxley, or call 912-367-1479 for all your insurance needs. Welcome back. Top half of the second coming up. 
Carl Neewalton taking it as warm-up pitches. As we are at 6, 7, and 8, that's going to be Landmaster, Hester, and Bonner. Second baseman, D8, and the left fielder. So the Eagle second baseman steps in. Umpire out having a word with Colin. And I am very curious. And it could be that lamp surface, yeah. So we're going to have a slight delay here. Do we have any score updates? I know uh, last we heard where it was 7 nothing. Yeah, Cartersville was up on where 7 to nothing early. I do believe I have one right here, Tap. And we've already got a final from game one in the North Cobb Rockmart series. North Cobb run with them in game one, 11 to 1. Ooh, that's a, that, that shocks me. Yeah. Um, Michael Molinax had another very good game there. He drove in four on three hits, including a home run as well. First pitch to land message in there for a called strike. I would want. Fastball up and in, one and one. Mullinax, a Georgia commit, I believe. Is that where he's going? I think so. That one's going to be popped up and out of play. And if I'm not mistaken, he's one of the top in the country in his graduating class as well. He is. So very good ball player there, very good athlete. He put North Cobb on their back as well. One and two. And that one is in there for a called strike three to Chase Landmesser. And that'll be the first out here in the top half of the second. Got Landmesser on the breaking ball. So that is strikeout number four. Gabe Hester in the box and... He fouls off the first pitch fastball from E. Walton straight into the net in front of us. E. Walton coming off a 14 strikeout performance against Walker. That he is very impressive there. Averaging 10 strikeouts a game in the playoffs. Is that one fouled back into the net as well? 0 and 2. Yeah, E. Walton does a very good job of getting ahead of you, and then he makes. You hitters in a one two o two count hit his pitch, and he very rarely makes a mistake out over the plate. Got in to chase the breaking ball, and that is strikeout number five and out number two. And he walks and reminds me of Tim Hudson for the Atlanta Braves. You better get him in the first inning because once he got out of the first, it was usually lights out. That it was. But Rhett Bonner steps in with two outs. And that fastball misses wide right. I'm outside for ball number one. Rhett Bonner heading to count one and oh. Bonner out in the left field. Low two and oh. You went with wide right. And they're coming back to Alabama there for a minute. There, oh, it's a bad one. Two and oh here to Bonner. So that North Cobb team has two Georgia commits, Sabam and Mullinax. I can see it. And Sabam, he actually hit a home run early in that game, too. So swinging it very well as that fastball misses down and was on for ball three. So three balls and one strike here to the left fielder, Rip Bonner. Three and one here to Bonner. Lined in the center field, and that's a good swing, and down for a two-out single. Yeah, that 3-1 count, that's a plus-plus count, and Bonner was sitting dead red fastball there, and he did not miss it. Good swing from that young man. Okay, pronounce this name, Mason. Yeah, Drogi. 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 I actually talked to his dad right there before the game. He was one of the men that helped me make sure I had these names squared away. Hey, so far from everybody that I've met from Mount Perrin, been nothing but great folks. Yeah, been nothing but a class act. Change up. Catches the corner, Owen Warren. Getting ahead of these guys is huge. We know they can swing it very well. They're, they're sound baseball club one through nine. They're going to do all the little things right. 
just reminds me of one of those one of those prime Pierce County teams, and he's off. The runner is going to steal second on the swing in the midst, and it's 0-2. But they do have one in scoring position. And Nate got in a bad position there from the on the pop time that he did. It was a Bonner picked a great pitch to run on, and what was a changeup? And the swing and the miss actually threw Livingston off as well. So just a very tough play to make, even get it there to make it close. But 0-2 here to Garrett Drogi, the Eagle right fielder. Two outs, top half of the second, 0-0. Zero to zero. Got him to chase the breaking ball. And that'll be strikeout number six and out number three. As Colin Ewald's been feeling it. Through two, no score. You're listening to Pirate Baseball on 96.7, the Big Wolf. If you're a Class A CDL holder with at least two years of experience, come on out and apply to Williams Brothers Trucking. WBT cares about the safety of their employees, and they want you as a part of their family. They offer great benefits, competitive pay, 401K, health care, and halls that will have you back home every day. We look forward to working better together with you. Williams Brothers Trucking wants to wish the Athlon County Pirate Baseball team good luck this season, and go Pirates. They take the pain out of propane. Sykes Propane in Baxley is here to take care of all your residential, commercial, and agricultural propane needs. Sykes Propane also sells Warming Trends fire pits, Peterson Real Fire gas logs, Renai water heaters, Generac generators, and True Flame grills and outdoor kitchens. Owners Daniel and Danny Sykes are looking forward to serving you soon. Sykes Propane, located at 2174 Hatch Parkway South in Baxley. Give them a call at 912-367-1151. Hey y'all, this is Appin County Sheriff Mark Melton, proud supporter of our Pirate Baseball team. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve you as Sheriff. I'm seeking re-election and I'm counting on your vote. When it comes to serving and protecting the citizens of Appin County, my staff and I will crowd the plate and swing for the fences every single time. So help us hit a home run this election season. I'm Sheriff Mark Melton and I approve this message. All right, welcome back. Bottom half of the second. No score here. Nate Livingston going to lead things off for the Pirates against Fredette. Big swing. Fouled it back into the mid. 0-1. Oh, and, and some news I just got. Mason, our boys track team just broke the state record and are now state champions. Yes, sir. So congratulations to them and the track program. As I'll be the first to say, even when Coach Pierce was here all the way through when I graduated until now, our track program is one of the best around and great job by those coaches and that staff as Livingston takes a breaking ball, catches the outside corner for strike number two. But yes, great track program, great kids, and it's good to see everybody that wears red and black succeed that. That's exactly right. Some more news from the region. I was told Brantley County beat Jeff Davis for the tennis championship. That they did. A lot of state championships going around in this region. That they are. And that fastball just missed the outside corner. And my girlfriend's, well, she considers her her cousin, her little cousin. She's actually uh, Jeff Davis's one when it comes to singles. And, yeah, they had a duel up there. Brantley won 3-2. to two. And Livingston fouls off a very good breaking ball off of his foot to stay alive. Been a very tough region and a very good region throughout this whole year in just about every sport. Sure has. As Toombs County played for the state championship in basketball. And one soccer. Yeah. As that breaking ball misses down in the zone and actually short hops to catch your Chris. So three and two now to Nate Livingston, who's very aggressive in the box and Wears a pitch just as good as anybody I've ever seen. And that's serious. Good stuff there. We'll get a leadoff walk, and Livingston made for that labor in the process. So we'll see Nolan Sykes coming out as the courtesy runner for Nate Livingston. Great at that from him to lead the bottom half of the second off. Still zero to zero. So let's see if the Pirates play some more small ball, or do we let Landon Anderson swing the bat? A pretty good bat for the Pirates on the playoffs. A guy that does possess the power to make this a two to nothing ball game. 
wind blowing straight out to right center, and he hits it high out into right field. Right fielder's trying to shield the sun, and he just snow on that. He almost dropped that ball, Mason. He did. So one out now for J.E. Sykes, who is having a very good playoff series. Uh, well, since the playoffs have started, swinging a very good bat. This is low 1-0. Actually, have JE with the best average since the playoffs have started. Five tipped into the mid, one and one. No score if you're just joining us. We're here in game one, final four. Acklin County, the home team, is that one's going to be fouled back over the concession stand and out of play. And Sykes is fell behind, one and two. And Mason, this is the big change from the first, we'll say, second and third round. And these last two at-bats, we would have been bunting, without a doubt. Breaking ball, that was a great pitch by Fredette. Oh, yeah, you just got to tip your cap. And as a hitter there, you're sitting fastball, but Fredette does have very good breaking pitches. And that was one of them. You got to do your do a better job of protecting the plate with two strikes there. But he does get socks looking for the second out here in the bottom half of the second. That brings up Edenfield. So Edenfield looking for a two-out hit. That one's up and away, 1-0. And, and, yeah, it, we've played a lot of small ball in Series 2 and 3. And so far in this one, looks like we wanted to swing the bat. Popped up, foul, and out of play. Bottom half of the second, zero to zero, still your score here in game number one. And Mason, this is one of those games that one run could be all that it takes. Yeah, without a doubt. Outside corner, call for a strike, one and two. For I believe most of this game number one right here, it's going to be a very big pitcher's duel. And we'll have to go back and look, but there wasn't many runs scored when Mount Perrin came down to Jeff Davis last year in the Elite Eight either. There was not. Got him chasing the fastball, and that's out in number three. And that'll take us into the top half of the third, so no score. You're listening to Pirate Baseball on 96.7 The Big Wolf. Play ball! Woody Folsom Ford is always proud to support the Pirates. When it comes to financing, selection, service, and sales, the team at Woody Folsom Ford knows how to hit it out of the park. Round the bases to Woody Folsom Ford in Baxley and see for yourself. Let's go! New or pre-owned, playing or budget, big or small, Woody Folsom Ford has them all. And ask about the lifetime powertrain warranty. It all starts when you talk to Woody. It's gone! Go Pirates! Getting only one fuel bill a month sure saves time and money. And that's just one of the many benefits since Murray Oil and Altamaha Oil have teamed up. The combined businesses mean better pricing on most petroleum products. Be sure to fill up at the convenient key pumps just off South Main Street in Baxley, where all grades of fuel are available. And now when you need diesel, they make it easy to get your DEF fluid at the same time with their convenient DEF pump. Only at Altamaha Oil. Murray Oil and Altamaha Oil. Working together to better serve you. With over 17 years working in the courthouse, Gretchen Bailey has gained the trust of folks in Appling County. She knows that every case, every family, every decision matters. Re-elect Gretchen Bailey as your probate judge. Make your voice heard on Tuesday, May 21st. Let's keep her experience, her knowledge, her wisdom, and her understanding that she has earned over the years working for us. Let's keep the probate court in her capable hands. This message paid for by the candidate. I'm Gretchen Bailey, and I approve this message. Alrighty, welcome back, Pirate fans. Top half of the third. Mount Perrin is back to the top half of their lineup as this will be their second time through against Colony Watson. Gable in the box takes a first pitch change up for strike, 0 and 1. That outside pitch is getting a little further outside. Gradually, 
Breaking ball, low and away, one and one. And Gable singled Oni Waldson, top half of the first. That was one of only two hits given up to the entire part of the lineup. Change up, hit out to the shortstop Grayson Hall. Pass his glove, throws across in time for out number one. Good routine play there from Hall as he's made that play hundreds of times, if not thousands, and yet another successful one. So that'll bring Carson Hodges up to the plate. Struck out, swinging in his first plate appearance against E. Watson. I'm very curious to see what adjustments they make this second time through the lineup. First pitch to Hodges, misses. Went off speed in the dirt. 1 0. One and one now as that one catches the zone. Scores is still zero to zero here. Top half of the third and game number one of the final four series between Appling County and Mount Perrin Christian. Now we're going to get all the way to the backstop. It was outside and in the dirt. Two and one. Seen a lot of faces I hadn't seen at the ball field in a while. And that is great to see. It sure is. Crowd getting bigger and bigger. In the dirt now, three and one. Well, Hodges way ahead here. I didn't even hear if you said, but he's over one on the day. Popped up, foul. Over the concession stand. That works it to a full count. Three balls and two strikes here to Mount Perrin's third baseman, Carson Hodges. Kyle Crisp waits on deck. He got him on the foul pitch right into the catcher's mitt. And Mason, that's out number one, but every out has come by way of strikeout. Out number two. We were looking oh, at the scoreboard at home. Except for that previous ground ball. It was, yes, as they put both of them up there as we got it out of our mouths. But, yes, out number two, and that's going to bring up Kyle Crisp, who went down looking last time. Ground ball right back at Collins. He's going to flip it underhanded. In time for out number three. Three up and three down in the third. Had to take a sit of bottom half. No score. You're listening to Pirate Baseball on 96.7 The Big Man. Art Contracting Enterprises in Baxley is proud to sponsor this broadcast. And they're proud to be setting the platinum standard in construction from foundations to finishes. They do it right. Art does everything from commercial and industrial construction to concrete services, structural steel fabrication, and assembling pre-engineered metal buildings. Call owner Travis Bunch at 912-687-0950 or owner Brian Britt at 912-278-4186. Art Contracting Enterprises in Baxley. Small town values. Big Time build. Looking for the perfect manufactured or modular home? Look no further. Introducing Uri's Home Center, your premier manufactured home dealer serving Georgia, Florida, and Tennessee. At Uri's Home Center, we're committed to finding you the ideal manufactured or modular home that fits your lifestyle and budget. Whether you're a first time buyer, a growing family, or looking to downsize, we have the home for you. Call us today, 912 240 0111, or visit us on the web at uri's.com. That's Y U R E Z Z. Promotional offers and availability may vary. See store for details. You've reached Cody's cell phone. Please leave me a message after the beep and I'll call you back. Hey, man, listen, I know your trailer's busted and you want to borrow mine, but I'm going to need it this weekend. So just do what I did. Go to Down to Earth Trailers in Baxley. Their parts showroom is huge. They will hook you up with everything you need to get your trailer up and running like brand new. They have a huge selection. They've been in business for over 20 years, so you know they're in it for the long haul. Give Down to Earth Trailers a call at 877-363-3007. Nine hole hitter Caden Walls getting ready to take his at bat here in the bottom half of the third. No runs on two hits for Mount Perry. No runs on one hit for the Pirates. Nine one two two do up here. Let's see. There's not a whole lot going on, but any score you got in the final four is an interesting score. That one's popped up in the right field. Right fielder shields the sun. Makes the catch over his left shoulder for out number one. One pitch, one out. Top 
After the fifth, right down the road in Waycross, Cartersville leads Ware County 8-2. to two. We've got a runner on second base with one out, so threatening once again here. Colony Watson steps in. Upstairs, 1-0. and Colin, one for one on the day? He is. And Colin calls time, steps out of the box here. And we'll do it again. Fastball. That was called a ball. Had to be outside. Not a bad pitch there. High fly ball. That did deep. That's, That's hit gone. long. That ball's not going to stay in the yard. One to nothing, Edwin County. Colony Walton got that fast ball. That was middle in belt high. And as he's been chasing it for a while now, that infamous fourth home run that puts the Pirates on top. One to nothing. Here in game number one. Bottom half of the third in the final four. Colony Walton doing it all by himself so far, Sal. Buddy, when I tell you that was a no-doubter, it was never a question that that was going to stay in the yard. Oh, without a doubt. That fastball middle in, and Colin loves that pitch, especially if he can recognize it real early. Go ahead and open those hips up a little, clear them, catch that ball out in front. Very quick hands, and he made them pay there. Great piece of hit. Fastball is in there on the inner third of the plate to haul for strike number one. And, yes, if you're familiar with Appling County's field, breaking ball is fouled off the hall. If you're familiar with Appling County's field, you've got right field, which is 320 down the lines, and then you creep on towards right center. So it went out right between the foul pole and right and right center, and we've got all of those big sponsor signs out there as well. And it cleared those sponsor signs with ease and landed on the road around the elementary complex. And Paul is, he checks his swing, but he is called out on strikes there. Uh, is that out number two? That's going to bring up Jason Griffith with two outs. Pirates have struck for one here by way of the Colony Walton long ball. And the first pitch to Dason. I did not see what he called. He caught it a ball. I thought he did. He did, and scorekeepers thought it was a strike as well, so. High chopper hit foul. Down the third baseline. Yeah, do it yourself, Colony Watson. That's probably the longest home run we've seen off of this Pirate team this year. 1-1 one, one up and away. The only one I think would rival that is the one in Benedictine that the batter now, Dason Griffith, hit. Yes. Hanging breaking ball, and Dason did not miss it. Colin does lead the team with long balls, four on the year. That's a very good-looking breaking ball there coming the front door, two and two. Yeah, two-one breaking ball, not the traditional pitch you're looking for there in a two-one count. Two, two inside, now three and two. And there's Mason. Slide back out of the way. And I love it, Tap. This home plate umpire is not even budging. He has confidence in his calls, and he knows his own. And nobody is going to get him off of it. 3-2 pitch to Griffiths. Breaking ball hit out in the left center field, and that's going to split him. Jason grounding first. He's going to pull in the second safety. And that's a two-out double for Jason Griffiths. A great piece of hitting there. Little out in front on the front foot. And he's able to get a lot of barrel on that, even though he was out on his front foot. We know Jason's extremely strong. So he muscled that out there in the left center. Ended up one hop in that fence for a two-out stand-up double. So one to nothing is your score. Applin County leads via a Colony Watson long ball. 
in the bottom half of the third. So that's going to give Matt an opportunity here to plate run number two for the Pirates. Dason out at second. He was on that one, but out it straight back. I wouldn't want. Oh, and one to the Pirates center fielder, N.J. Nance. Breaking ball, he was waiting on it. Hit it right out to the center fielder, though, and he hit it right at him. Hit it pretty well. Just in the wrong spot. Yeah, great piece of hitting there from Nance. Way to, very positive to see him sit back on the breaking ball and flush it up there, even though it was not what we wanted, not what he wanted. But great swing, as you can feel good about that moving forward. But the damage has been done. Pirates strike first and lead one to nothing thanks to the Colony Watson solo home run in the bottom half of the third. You're listening to Pirate Baseball on 96.7, the Big Wolf. Are you ready to make the change to a career that empowers you to make a difference? Georgia Allied Health Institute in Hazelhurst is training students for high-paying, in-demand jobs that matter. They offer programs including patient care technician, ultrasound technician, phlebotomy technician, dialysis technician, medical assistant, and certified nursing assistant. They also offer a prep course for RN students who need to prepare for the NCLEX. Give Georgia Allied Health Institute a call today, 770-370-7686, or visit them online at alliedhealthinst.com. Let's go for a slice. Village Pizza in Baxley has the best pizza around. Everybody knows that, but did you know they've also got a variety of delicious cheese sticks, fresh sandwiches, and barbecue and hot wings? Why not treat yourself to the lunch buffet? It's chock full of just about everything your heart and stomach desires, and it's available from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. They've got a party room in the back, perfect for birthday parties and meetings. Village Pizza on North Main Street in Baxley, open Monday through Saturday from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. Give Village Pizza a call, 912 312- Three six seven ninety eight fifty one. All right, welcome back. Going into the top half of the fourth, Pirates leading it one to nothing. In the box is Carter Galbraith, who takes a first pitch changeup. That was outside and in the dirt for ball number one. So one to nothing, Appling County, thanks to Colony Walks and Solo shot in the bottom of the third. That fastball misses down and away as well. 2-0 here to Carter Galbert. 4-5-6 due up for Mount Perrin Christian in the top half of the fourth. Game number one. That one's going to be hit hard out in the center field, but N.J. Nance drifts back. And even though to the to the naked eye right there, it looks like he had a hard time with that, but it looked to me, and watch that, that was just pure finesse. Yes. Just very smooth, effortless, and like I've said once again, we don't have many to compare him to, but it's almost like a glimpse of Byron out there just casually getting to the ball and making the catch. Nothing crazy, but makes a harder play look very routine. And Henry Akapov takes first pitch breaking ball up in the zone for ball number one. So one and oh. He walks and delivers. Foul. Hit it well. Look out on the on deck, but circle there. Triple ones on the board. One ball, one strike, one out. That one's going to be popped up in the right field. Jack Carter looking for it. He lost it. And he has to dive. And what a play. What a play by Jack Carter. To recover on that ball right there as this sun as we are playing earlier than usual and it is a beautiful day outside and the sun is shining extremely bright and Jack Carter has sunglasses on out in right field and lost it for a split second but did a tremendous job to recover and ended up having to dive to his left to actually make the play for out number two and that's going to bring in Chase Landmesser and he takes a first pitch Ball. One at nothing, Appling County, top half of the fourth. If you're just joining us in game number one. And way behind fastball there, one and one. No 
another one popped up to Jack. See if he can high find this one. He's lost it again, and it gets over his head. And the runner's going to pull into second. And you know that's extremely difficult out there. I know he hates to see that one fall, but this sun is brutal. And even with sunglasses on, it is extremely difficult out there in right field. So, Landmaster reaches second via the E9. So, Mount Perrin catches a break there on a routine pop fly, but the sun in Applin County is notorious. That was going to be a two-hopper, three-hopper to Jason Griffiths at second. Throws it the first in time for out number three. So, no damage done on the ball that falls in right. And we go into the bottom half of the fourth. One to nothing. Appling County leads. You're listening to Pirate Baseball on 96.7 The Big Wolf. There are many ways to establish a working relationship with your bank. Let us help you find the perfect relationship here at Community Bank of Georgia. Our knowledgeable staff is committed to forming a relationship with each customer to provide a sense of unity to obtain the highest level of customer service. Whether you are opening a checking account for your children or opening your first business, experience relationship banking the way it used to be here at Community Bank of Georgia. Come see me, Perry White or any of our courteous staff at Community Bank of Georgia at 700 West Parker Street in Baxley. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. When should you call Lisa Pierce at the Lisa Pierce Agency in Baxley? If you drive this. If you fly this. If you ride this. Lisa Pierce is serious about protecting your business investments and toys. Stop and see Lisa Pierce at 395 West Parker Street in Baxley or call her at 912-367-4100. She makes it personal. Underwritten by Farmers, Truck Fire Insurance, Exchanges, and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. Fred Dett still on the mound. Bottom half of the fourth coming up. As Nate Livingston will be the batter. Five, six, seven, do up here for the Pirates. Working with a one nothing lead. That one catches the inside corner with the fastball. 0-1. Pirates took the lead with a Colony Watson long ball. And when I say long, you can put it in capital letters. 1-1 one one now. Outside, 2-1. Livingston already drew one walk in the game. Breaking ball, misses outside, three and one. Just was out of the zone. He started that out our third of the plate. Caught it about three or four inches off the plate. Hit the in, and that'll be ball four, and that's a leadoff walk for Nate Livingston. Repeated his first at bat there. It's going to bring Landon Anderson to the plate. Over one on the afternoon. Flew out to the right fielder in his first plate appearance. Courtesy runner in fashion of Nolan Sachs. At first base. You're just joining us. Bottom half of the fourth. Game number one. Uh, the final four set between the Eagles of Mount Perrin and the Pirates of Appling County. Appling County leads one to nothing via a solo home run from Colony Watson. Fastballs in between the letters and the belt. One and oh. More under the letters than it was above the belt. As this umpire has been very consistent with his zone. He has. That one's right at the belt. Called for a strike one and one. Yeah, no complaints here with the zone. I've only had one pitch that I thought was missed. And I've only had one as well. And Heck, it was when Mount Perrin was in the box. Late on the fastball, and it's one and two. He was swinging big there just in case he did hit it, trying to make this a three to nothing ball game like that. He does possess that kind of power inside that body. I'm very excited about this young man. Sophomore, young in his class. Got a lot in the tank. Big swing. They're going to ask for help. And they say he did not. I believe he got it right. I do, too. As that was a very close one. Very good pitch there from Burdett with two strikes. Fastball, that's shin high. 
and as a hitter, you know he's been getting that low call in the zone, so it does make you think twice about that ball at the shins. It does. 2-2 two, two pitch on the way to Anderson. Outside, 3-2. and two. And I'll be honest with you, Taff, if we can get for that off of the mound here in game number one, I believe the tides will turn exponentially. They got two and two on the board, but it doesn't matter. Got the swing and the miss, and that'll be out number one. J.E. Sykes will be the batter. With one out, and Nolan Sykes over at first. First pitch from Perdette out of the stretch. Way outside, 1-0. and oh. One and nothing, Appling County. Bottom half of the fourth. Right at the knees down the middle, one and one. One fastball, fastball. You don't see him triple pitches up a lot, and what I mean by that, three in a row. But expect all speed here, and that's what he does. And the dirt, great stop by Chris. Save a bag there. Yeah, you can tell for that's very sharp, Taff. I've just been watching. You haven't seen much of a third pitch, but he hasn't needed much of one. Runner on the way to second. Well, he actually slammed on the brakes. Great swing there by Sykes out of straight back into the net. He was on that one. Fake steal. Possibly a hit and run there. And he slammed on brakes a little too quick for me to think he was peeking back in at the hitter. But nonetheless, good swing from Jay right on it. And we were able to get a quick look at this defensive alignment. Breaking ball hit out in the right field. Right fielder got a bad jump on it, but he's still going to be able to run it down. They throw behind the runner at first, not in time. But that is two outs in the winning. Positive sign there from Sykes. A good breaking ball that he allowed to get extremely deep in the zone and still get the barrel to it, driving it to right field. And number 27, Garrett Drogi, makes the play coming in on the run. Two outs. First pitch, fastball on the black outer half, 0 and 1. <laughs> 0 1 pop straight up. Pitcher has no idea where it's at. Second baseman, now the shortstop's going to call him off, and it falls. Everybody safe. That was just a botched play from the get go. Wow. It was right behind the pitcher's mound. And simply, wow is all I can say to that because the caliber of this defense and this infield, that doesn't happen when you're playing a mediocre baseball team, much less one of the best teams in the entire state. So, lack of communication or the sun, but nonetheless, does drop in what is a routine play. So, another life there. That's going to get a visit from the Mount Perrin coach. I'm sure this is a what are we doing out here moment. Yeah, basically guys, hey, you know, he's not even talking to the pitcher. No, pitcher's not catching that ball. And he knows he's not. Shortstop and second baseman, and mainly the shortstop, no, he just needs to go ahead and take control of that situation, call him off and catch the ball. And this also may have been a, well, we got their nine-hole hitter in the box. This is an out we have to have. You do not want to face Colony Watson, especially with where his confidence is right now in the game that he's having. You have, you, you have a few of those games where that ball is just the size of a beach ball tap. Caden has to know they're coming right at him here. That one is right down the middle, 0-1. They do not want to see Colin. And Caden can make them pay here. That he can. 0-1 here to Walls. Breaking ball. Must have been low. That's a really good pitch. As I do believe Applin County got one there. I agree. I believe that is a strike 99.9% of the time. 
One one outside. No, he calls that one a strike. He does. One and two. One ball, two strikes to Caden Moss. Halfland County's got runners on first and second here in the bottom half of the fourth. Two outs. Halfland County leads one to nothing. Caden never took a bat off his shoulder, and that'll be out number three. And the Pirates lead on the stranded at first and second. One to nothing to score going into the top half of the fifth. Pirates lead. You're listening to Pirate Baseball on 96.7 The Big Wolf. Nothing beats that ride home after winning the big game. Especially if you're riding home in your new ride from Woody Falls from Chevrolet Buick GMC. Woody's highly trained team has been coached to get you the most car for your money and the most money for your car. Let us go to bat for you. Whether you're looking for the latest, greatest, top-of-the-line sports car or a safe, sensible SUV to take the kids to and from the game, you'll find your perfect ride when you talk to Woody. Together, let's drive to Woody Falls from Chevrolet Buick GMC and bat. Actually. Untangling your headphones, finding the right remote, saying goodbye to your favorite shirt that hasn't fit in 10 years. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who live in your community and answer when you call. So you can worry about more important things, like finding a new favorite shirt. That's simple human sense. See Rents and Rents Insurance on South Main Street in Baxley or call 912-367-1479 for all your insurance needs. If you're a Class A CDL holder with at least two years of experience, come on out and apply to Williams Brothers Trucking. WBT cares about the safety of their employees, and they want you as a part of their family. They offer great benefits, competitive pay, 401K, health care, and halls that will have you back home every day. We look forward to working better together with you. Williams Brothers Trucking wants to wish the Athlon County Pirate Baseball Team good luck this season, and go Pirates. WUFE and W244CR. Baxley. I like them even better now. The greatest hits of all time. The Big Wolf. 967. 1 0 the count as Colony Watson's already thrown a pitch here to Bonner. That one didn't miss, but we didn't get the call. 2 0. That was, that was one of them questionable ones. As you know, you got to establish a floor on that zone and trying to do it as Bonner fouls that fastball off right over the first base dugout. Two balls and one strike to Rhett Bonner. Yeah, I said it didn't miss. Uh, according to his strike zone, I don't guess it did. Or it did. But in my strike zone, I think it's a strike. But yes, I agree with you. Two one. Way upstairs, three and one. And he walks in danger of a leadoff walk here. Pirates leading it one to nothing, top half of the fifth. As right now, it's been a do-it-yourself colony, Watson, with the long ball and on the mound. And looks like we have got another few pieces of Mar Mound that have came out. And, and this is a bit shocking, too, because we, we don't see that problem here. We do not. Bill, shout out to, to the coaching staff and everybody that manicures this field. Yes. They do an excellent job. Top tier. Yeah, once again, congratulations to Ware County. They're competing in the Final Four. They are behind in game number one. A little more South Georgia love. Charlton County Indians clinched their spot in the state championship game uh, alongside Lanier County Bulldogs and former Appling County head baseball coach last year, I believe. And then Matt White, his son, is actually going to be taking over the job. Ground ball, head over to Jason Griffiths at second. He fields, throws in time, out number one. So congratulations to those three teams as Ware County's fighting for a spot in the state championship. And Lanier County and Charlton County have already clinched it. As we do know a few very happy Lanier County Bulldogs. Change up, had him way out front. 0 and 1. One run on three hits for the Pirates, no runs on three hits for the Eagles. That one had to catch his own. It did 0 and 2. No 0 and 2 here at Garrett Drogi. Right fielder for Mount Perry and Christian. Struck out swinging in his first at bat. Popped up. Watch ahead here in the stands. 
falls harmlessly to the dirt. So 0 and 2 here to Garrett Drogi. Lead on fitter Braden Gable waits on deck. One out, top half of the fifth. Mike had a little help there, but didn't get the call. One and two. As the home plate umpire signals that it was outside. Change up, got him swinging, and that's out number two. Strike out number eight. Yes, sir. So this will be the third time through for Mount Perrin Christian. Braden Gable singled in his first plate appearance and grounded out to the shortstop in his second. He, he asked for a very delayed time call there, and I'm I'm not a big fan of granting that one. But he did, so no pitch. Way out in front. He sure was. Oh, and one. If it didn't have the break of the change up, but had the velocity of it. It did. Oh, one goes right back to it. Ground ball hit the Dacian. Fields it right off the dirt. Flips it over the first in time. Three up, three down. Going into the bottom half of the fifth. Athlon County leads one to nothing. You're listening to Pirate Baseball on 96.7, the Big Wolf. They take the pain out of propane. Sykes Propane in Baxley is here to take care of all your residential, commercial, and agricultural propane needs. Sykes Propane also sells Warming Trends Fire Pits, Peterson Real Fire Gas Logs, Renai Water Heaters, Generac Generators, and True Flame Grills and Outdoor Kitchens. Owners Daniel and Danny Sykes are looking forward to serving you soon. Sykes Propane, located at 2174 Hatch Parkway South in Baxley. Give them a call at 912-367-1151. Hey, y'all. This is Appen County Sheriff Mark Melton, proud supporter of our Pirate Baseball team. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve you as sheriff. I'm seeking re-election, and I'm counting on your vote. When it comes to serving and protecting the citizens of Appen County, my staff and I will crowd the plate and swing for the fences every single time. So help us hit a home run this election season. I'm Sheriff Mark Melton, and I approve this message. Woody Folsom Ford is always proud to support the Pirates. When it comes to financing, selection, service, and sales, the team at Woody Folsom Ford knows how to hit it out of the park. Round the bases to Woody Folsom Ford and Baxley and see for yourself. Let's go! New or pre-owned, playing or budget, big or small, Woody Folsom Ford has them all. And ask about the lifetime powertrain warranty. It all starts when you talk to Woody. It's gone! Go Pirates! All right, welcome back here. One, two, three, do up. Colin E. Watson will lead it off for the Pirates. And nobody needs reminding, but Colin E. Watson is two for two on the day with a solo home run. And that is the only run we have thus far in game number one as he takes a first pitch breaking ball for a strike. Change up misses down in the zone for ball number one. And Mason, another state champion, Camden Hickox, just one state. Congratulations to that young man. Up and in, two and one. And if I had to guess, I'm going to make a very educated one. I would assume he is on that relay team that set the state record as well. He is. Two, one to Colin. Breaking ball hard, ground ball into the three, four hole and into right field for a base hit. And Colin, he walks from three to three. Just one of those days at the plate, Taff. Every every baseball player can remember those one, two, three days where no matter what you do, no matter what they throw, you're able to barrel the ball up, and it's the size of a beach ball. And one of those days is today for Colin E. Watson. So on a gym on the mound so far, and a very difficult out, and doing all of the damage himself so far in this game. That he is as Grayson tries to get the bunt down. Fouls it off, 0 and 1. Hall is 0 for 1 on the afternoon. Sacrifice bunt in his first plate appearance. Track out looking in his second. And we are trying to play a little small ball here, get a little insurance 
Breaking ball gets a really good bunt down. He lobs it over to first. And I don't think he expected Grayson Hall to be running as well as he does, but they do get the out. Of, and that is out number one. It's going to give Jason Griffiths and NJ Nance an opportunity here to drive in run number two. And with an empty base late here in the game, I'm just going to throw a hypothetical situation out there to you, Pat. Are they not necessarily intentionally walking him, but do you give Jason Griffiths a whole lot to hit you? Do I? No. Will they? I'm not sure. Burdett throws one inside, Jason. Catches it out front. Hits it in through the 3-4 hole. But they're going to hold him up at third. That is a one-out single and puts him at the corners for the Pirates. And I about figured out for Depp is a kid that just wants to challenge him. He does. And I respect it. I love it. And, Pap, I'm going to go ahead and call it right here. I think we're going to execute one of these Appleton County safety squeezes. We haven't seen it here in game number one at all. And that is more than likely what Kyle Crisp is going out to talk to Michael Surdett about. Appleton County is... Basically, if they're reading the scout report that I think is given on us, it is in bold writing, highlighted in yellow. And, yep, go ahead and tally that as a mound visit. Yep. And it's a good good choice there by the head coach and, and by Kyle Chris behind the plate. you got to slow this momentum down. Chris recognized it very quick. They're in a pivotal situation where you cannot make a mistake. You do not want this lead to grow any larger and have to climb back from two to three runs. And in a first and third situation, with Nancy's speed, if you execute the bunt, you could argue it's almost indefensible. If you do it, you do it correctly. I don't care if they do know it's coming. It is very hard to defend. And you've got good wheels at third base and Garrison Turner. You could see a lot of different situations here. could see Dason Griffiths get hung up between first and second on purpose. And no bun attempt there as that fastball catches the outside corner for strike number one. I'm wondering if they told him to wait and go on the second. Let's see if he does it here. Third baseman's even with the bag. Step maybe behind the bag. A uh, little straight kickoff attempt towards third, keeping him close. And you've got to be careful as well. If Nance does whiff on the bunt, Chris will fire it back to that third baseman. They will as Nance has a big hack at one and comes up empty L and two. And this is one of the times where a bunt wouldn't have been bad. No, for I sure. Agree. But I do have confidence in NJ as well swinging it. And I love it personally. Have faith in your cleanup hitter. Let's roll. But, yes, great wheels. And going back to that safety squeeze bunt attempt, as you're going to try to get that out at home, which is very hard. But Nance runs well going to first two. We got him swinging on the fastball, and that is out number two. And he's going to bring up Nate Livingston, who has been huge in spots like this for the Pirates. You can argue this is a guy that you want in the box in a spot like this. And he, he does have ice water running through his veins. Very even kill young man. First pitch in the dirt as Chris thought it got by him. And it was sitting right there at his feet. So, 1 0. As Mason faked like he was going to second. Strike two outs, one to nothing to score. Appling County leads, runners at the corner. 
popped up. We'll get out of play here and fall harmlessly to the ground. So we'll do it again. One ball and two strikes to the Athlon County catcher, Nate Livingston. Pirates have runners at the corners. Two outs, bottom half of the fifth. Athlon County leads one to nothing on the back of a Colony Watson solo home run in the bottom of the third. And they got Dason out here in the middle. And they're going to give up the run at home. Absolutely genius. That is exactly what the doctor ordered past, and that play was executed to a T. Garrison Turner did not hesitate at third base when Coach Griffiths told him to go and put the pedal to the metal. He did, and that run does cross home plate before Jason Griffiths is tagged out between first and second. So we do get that one insurance run we were really wanting and needing in this scenario, but Applin County gets one in the bottom half of the fifth, heading to the top of the sixth. Here in game number one, Applin County leads two to nothing. Here to listen to Pirate Baseball on 96.7, the Big Wolves. Getting only one fuel bill a month sure saves time and money. And that's just one of the many benefits since Murray Oil and Automaha Oil have teamed up. The combined businesses mean better pricing on most petroleum products. Be sure to fill up at the convenient key pumps just off South Main Street in Baxley, where all grades of fuel are available. And now when you need diesel, they make it easy to get your DEF fluid at the same time with their convenient DEF pump. Only at Automaha Oil. Murray Oil and Automaha Oil. Working together to better serve you. This is Gretchen Bailey, Applin County Probate Judge. Applin County has always been my home. The Applin County Pirates have always been my hometown team. Roots are what bind a community, and they run deep in this Applin County resident. The Applin County Probate Court documents your roots, and with each new birth, those roots continue to grow. I desire to honor my roots by serving the citizens of Applin County. Honor your roots this election. Make your voice heard and re-elect Gretchen Bailey, Applin County Probate Judge. Paid for by the candidate. Art Contracting Enterprises in Baxley is proud to sponsor this broadcast. And they're proud to be setting the platinum standard in construction from foundations to finishes. They do it right. Art does everything from commercial and industrial construction to concrete services, structural steel fabrication, and assembling pre-engineered metal buildings. Call owner Travis Bunch at 912-687-0950 or owner Brian Britt at 912-278-4186. Art Contracting Enterprises in Baxley. Small town values. Big time builds. All right, welcome back. Colony Watson toes the rubber. Change up, hit out into right field. Jack Carter is on a full dead sprint and he drops it. And that's all the way to the wall. Runner's going to hold up at second. And that is something you do not see Jack Carter do very often. You do not. As Carson Hodges leads things off in the Top half of the sixth, and he reaches second base with an E9 as Carter bobbles it and drops it out there in right field on the run. So that's going to bring up catcher Kyle Crisp, and we are now in territory where one swing of the bat can make this a brand-new baseball game, and we are at a very dangerous part of this Mount Perry and Christian lineup. We sure are. Left-handed Crisp in the box. This is up and away to him, 1-0. Two to nothing, Applin County. Top half of the sixth. Applin County plated one in the bottom half of the third and bottom half of the fifth. 1 0 fastball, hit foul over the pirate hit facility. Yeah, and that's a ball that Jack Carter is going to make the play on 99 out of 100 times. And I don't think the Sun played a factor there. I think he was just in a full sprint. And misplayed it. See if Colin can get us out of it here. Warm one. Take off the tent. Almost threw it in the center field. Yeah, not ideal. You do want to keep him close, but... I don't believe Mount Perrin's going to be doing anything crazy and risking what essentially is a leadoff double. Upstairs, two and one. Two runs on five hits for the Pirates, no runs on three hits 
for the Eagles. Two and one here to Kyle Chris. Struck out looking in his first plate appearance and grounded out to Colony Watson in his second. And Chris calls time, and it is granted. Two to nothing, Appleton County, top half of the sixth, game number one. Two one, going to get fouled down the left field line. Let's go. Colin back on the rubber. And the 2 2 pitch. Change up. Hit into the left field and down for a base hit. They're not going to send him at third. That's going to put him at the corners with nobody out. Not the end of the world. And if you're Colony Watson. This is where you're back against the wall for the very first time in the game, even though you should have one out and just a runner on first, as we do have a courtesy coming in for the catcher, Chris. I believe that is number three. That will be Westmoreland. And like I was going back to, Colony Watson, He's got to mentally tell himself, hey, you should have won, but everybody makes mistakes, and those teammates stand with him when he's in the corner as well. He's going to have to pick them up as they pick him up time after time. So, just bear down. Foul ball and out of play, 0-1. To the cleanup man, Galbraith. And that was a very good piece of hitting there from Chris. Two, two strikes against E. Waldson. He walks and got the better of him. He doesn't do too much. Just barrels up the baseball and drives it right through that 5-6 hole from the left side. Well, we will trade a double play for a run here. That we will. He walks him out of the stretch. 0-1. Hard line drive. Hit the base and he fields six, four, three. Got him. And that's why the doctor ordered there, Taff. You do trade that run for two outs. Should have been outs two and three, but we will take it there. We certainly will. I said six, four, three at the four, six, three. I apologize. So two to one's your score now. So no RBI there for the cleanup man. Way out front, 0 and 1. Henry Akerpom in the box swings through the changeup from the Walton. If you're just joining us, top half of the sixth, Appleton County leads two to one. Change up, hit out to Jack Carter in right field. And he makes the catch this time. He made it look a little tough, but he was there. Hey, as long as we catch him and get the out and set out, absolutely. So good for his confidence there. And we get out of the inning. Two to one is the score. Appen County leads going into the bottom half of the six. See if we can put some more on the board. You're listening to Fire Baseball on 96.7 The Big Wolf. Looking for the perfect manufactured or modular home? Look no further. Introducing Uri's Home Center, your premier manufactured home dealer serving Georgia, Florida, and Tennessee. At Uri's Home Center, we're committed to finding you the ideal manufactured or modular home that fits your lifestyle and budget. Whether you're a first-time buyer, a growing family, or looking to downsize, we have the home for you. Call us today, 912-240-0111, or visit us on the web at urees.com. That's Y-U-R-E-Z-Z.com. Promotion. No offers and availability may vary. See store for details. You've reached Cody's cell phone. Please leave me a message after the beep and I'll call you back. 
Hey man, listen, I know your trailer's busted and you want to borrow mine, but I'm going to need it this weekend. So just do what I did. Go to Down to Earth Trailers in Baxley. Their parts showroom is huge. They will hook you up with everything you need to get your trailer up and running like brand new. They have a huge selection. They've been in business for over 20 years, so you know they're in it for the long haul. Give Down to Earth Trailers a call at 877-363-3007. Are you ready for a rewarding career? Georgia Allied Health Institute in Hazelhurst offers training that leads to real careers in the medical field. They offer day and evening classes as well as courses in a blended format, including on-site labs, online lectures, and externship experiences. Georgia Allied Health Institute also offers certification courses for medical professionals seeking to become eligible to test for certification. Give Georgia Allied Health Institute a call today, 770-370-7686, or visit them online at alliedhealthinst.com. Welcome back, Pirates fans. We are now in the bottom half of the sixth. Nate Livingston in the box. And that is the third pitch he has seen. And it is a one and two count. Still two to one. Bottom half of the sixth. Nate Livingston, Landon Anderson, and John Evan Sykes do up here in the bottom of the sixth. Breaking ball, high chopper to the third baseman, and it's foul. They threw it by the first baseman, but it is called a foul ball, and it's not going to matter. As we do have a four-man crew, and he was right on top of it. He was. Tough break. Very tough, as I love it. Nate's taking his time getting to the box. As he's been working hard himself in that gear. And the young man holding the bat can relate to him as both catchers are right there with each other. So it'll be one and two once again. Two to one, Appling County leads. Mount Perrin was able to plate one in the top half of the sixth. Way outside, and it's two and two. I have for dead at unofficially 84 pitches. A little flare out in the right field, and he dives, and nope, he dropped it. That's going to get Nate all the way to second. I believe he's in there safely. As Livingston had to be careful there. He does know he gets the courtesy runner, but the shortstop actually held the ball as Nate was celebrating on top of second base, hoping that he would step off early before the umpire granted time, but he picked up on it fairly quickly there, so great job there from Livingston. Great piece of hitting with two strikes off of Fredette, and the Pirates are in business here. Bottom half of the sixth with a leadoff double. Great effort out there in right field by Drogi. Yeah, very good piece of hit and good stop here by Chris. That one was a good bit outside, one and oh. Nate Livingston is just unfazed by the situation. He sure is. Big swing, but he comes up empty, one and one. Yeah, he could have folded his pen up after that high chopper that he hit down the third baseline, and then they threw it away. He was standing on second, thinking he had a what was this, be the same as a double, but ends up come back two pitch later and does hit a double. As Landon, little halfway swing there, comes up empty, one and two. And in this situation right here, Taff, getting out is not the end of the world. We cannot have a strikeout and an unproductive out. If you can move this runner, it is very productive. As that one almost hit him, up and in, two and two now. Two and two outside. Three and two. So that turned into a quality at bat here. By Anderson. Do have a little action going on in the pirate bullpen. 
going to be popped up. I believe it's going to stay in play. It is in foul territory. First baseman dives, and it falls to the ground. And Landon gets another lot here. Three and two to Anderson. Payoff pitch. Right down the middle. And he never took the bat off his shoulder. That's out number one. Yeah, looked as if he was guessing there and just caught him off guard. That's going to bring up Jay Sykes with one out. Nolan Sykes out at second for Nate Livingston. Two to one, Appling County. Bottom half of the sixth, one out. Upstairs, one another. Jay is. 0 for 2 on the afternoon. Very good swing in his second plate appearance. Lined out to the right fielder. And the dirt, great stop by Chris. So he's played a really good game behind the plate. He sure has. had not had to do a lot for that. has been sharp on the mound. You know, but when he has, he's oh, in there. He has executed perfectly. And yeah, so that does not miss badly very often. It's nice to know you've got a guy like Chris behind the plate, too. Yeah, you can bury that breaking ball in the dirt and know that he's going to be able to keep it in front of him. 1-0 and here to Sykes. We're back in action as Chris talked with Burdett for a few short moments. Two rows in the dirt, now 3-0. That was pitch number 94, unofficially. Unofficially, what do you have, Kyle, in there? Eighty-five. Three and zero here to Sykes. At the belt, down the middle, three and one. He had to take all the way. Three one here, still a very good hitter's count. Plus plus count, you've got to be sitting on that fastball, but. Yeah, umpire behind the plate hasn't called that fastball or that pitch a strike all day until just now. Upstairs, and that'll be a walk, and that'll put him at first and stretch it for the Pirates. And it'll bring up Isaac Edenfield. Isaac over two on the afternoon. Struck out swinging in his first plate appearance and reached via an E6 in his second plate appearance. He would love to get Colony Watson up to the plate here in this inning. Upstairs. As you can tell, Fredette's starting to get tired. He's not finishing his pitches. And I'll tell you, Taff, this, this coach from Mount Perrin does not even ask for time. He just goes. He just goes straight out to the mound. I've never seen anything quite like it. It looks like their conference will come to an end. And we'll get back to it. So that is Mount Perrin's third mound visit. to Edenfield. Runners on first and second for Appling County. Almost got a piece of him on the inner half. 2-0. And, and right here, if you're the Pirates, you're not helping for dead out at all. Oh, no. I think he's got to take here. Taking until he throws one across that plate. And the more tired you get, the smaller that zone gets, too, mentally. Two-row breaking ball is in there. Yeah, fastball's been tough to locate for Fredette, so he goes back to the bread and butter. A 
That one's going to be popped up. First baseman right on the line. And he makes the catch. They're going to tag up and go to third. Throw is not going to be in time. I love it. That's some heads-up baseball there. That's one thing. That play right there, that call has been something we would have not done the first three rounds. So now it's two out. Pirates have runners at the corners. With Caden Walls stepping up to the plate. And, yeah, for those of you not here, Nolan Sykes tagged from second base going to third and was in there successfully as first baseman ranged back maybe two to three steps in the edge of right field where he caught it. Just heads up baseball as he was back pedaling, did not have firm footing, and we took advantage of it. First pitch to Walls is a strike on the outside corner. No one won to Caden Walls. Playing left field for Appling County today. And they concede second base, which was honestly the smarter move, in my opinion. And I'll be honest with you, though, Taff. He ran slap by the second baseman, probably within three or four feet of him. And the second baseman had the ball with arms reach. Yeah. Or within arm's reach. And very shocking to see, but Mount Perrin was not going to fall for it that time as they would happily concede second base over another run. Popped up straight over my head. No one two here to Caden Walls. Two to one, Appling County leads bottom half of the sixth. Very important insurance runs are on the base paths in scoring position. Swing and a miss, and that'll be out number three. And Mount Perrin has three outs to find a run. Two to one's your score. Appling County leads top half of the seventh coming. You're listening to Pirate Baseball on 96.7 The Big Wolf. Everyone at South Georgia Insurance Associates wants to wish the Appling County Pirate Baseball team a fantastic season. South Georgia Insurance Associates is an independent agency bringing the best in auto, agribusiness, recreational vehicle, church, flood, and business insurance to Baxley and surrounding areas. They work with many different insurance companies to find a plan that's perfect for you. You can learn more about the services and resources that South Georgia Insurance Associates offers and request a quote online at SGIAinsurance.com. That's SGIAinsurance.com. Go Pirates. There are many ways to establish a working relationship with your bank. Let us help you find the perfect relationship here at Community Bank of Georgia. Our knowledgeable staff is committed to forming a relationship with each customer to provide a sense of unity to obtain the highest level of customer service. Whether you are opening a checking account for your children or opening your first business, experience relationship banking the way it used to be here at Community Bank of Georgia. Come see me, Perry White or any of our courteous staff at Community Bank of Georgia at 700 West Parker Street in Baxley. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. All righty, welcome back, Pirates fans. Everybody tuning in. We do appreciate this. We couldn't do it without you. We're here at the top half of the seventh. Now, Perrin Christian has three outs to at least tie this baseball game up, or we will be heading to game number two. And change up for me, Walton catches the bottom half of the zone. Strike number one. Inside corner call for strike two. And this is Chase Landmaster. Fast ball, a little bit off the plate, one and two. That was a very good pitch. Very good execution. And what Colin wanted, making, busting back in or go back to that changeup. He went back to the changeup, but he missed outside two and two. Didn't miss by much. Two balls and two strikes to Landmaster. And swing going to miss on the changeup for out number one. Mount Perrin Christian now has two outs to tie this baseball game up. And that's going to bring Gabe Hester, the DH, up to the plate. Yeah. 
Chester is 0 for 2 on the afternoon. And that changeup is in there for a called strike on the outside corner. 0-1 here to Hester. Applin County leads 2-1, to one, top half of the seventh. Changeup misses outside for ball number one, even to the count. One ball and one strike, one out, top half of the seventh. Applin County, two outs away from a victory in game one. Ground ball up the middle. Dason Griffiths fields it. Throw. Brings Isaac Edenfield off of the bag. Edenfield's able to make it back to the bag just before Hester came down on top of it for out number two. So one out away from a game one victory in what would be a huge game one victory. Against their eighth on the mound, very big win. And you can pull it off. Yes, sir. Rhett Bonner steps in as the last hope here in game number one for Mount Perry. Change up outside, 1-0, and oh, and if you're not on your feet, Appling County fans, get on them. We've even got a Pierce County bear over my left shoulder on his feet for us. He's even wearing red today, Ty. 1-0 ground ball hit to Landon Anderson. He fields it. He throws across the diamond in time. They're out number three. And Appling County is going to take game number one by a score of 2-1. to one. Hey, that's good baseball right there, Taff. I know Appling County had one or two hiccups, but... Nonetheless, probably the cleanest game of baseball Appling County's played the entire playoffs, and you knew coming in you had to do it here in this playoff series, 100%. It doesn't get any better than that. Appling County is in a driver's seat winning game one. And we'll keep this short and sweet as we're going to get ready for game two, and let's see if Appling County can win a game two, move on to the state championship in Statesboro at Georgia Southern's field. And, yeah, Mason, that's about as good as it gets right there for Appling County. Yes, sir. You had Colony Watson, your ace, coming out. You need him to be the best he's been all year. And he was sharp as attack on the mound and sharp as attack in the box. Basically did it himself, if you look at the box. Scored three for three in the box. Had an amazing outing on the mound. That one run is unearned. So no runs. Officially, and Appling County does get the win, two to one. We'll be back here shortly, roughly 25 to 30 minutes after game number one concludes. So we'll be back here soon. So for now, we'll let you get a word from our sponsors and listen to some music. Happy Mother's Day, mothers out there. We do appreciate you, and uh, you continue doing what you always do. Go Pirates. Appling County is victorious in game number one. You're listening to Pirate Baseball on 96.7 The Big Wolf. When should you call Lisa Pierce at the Lisa Pierce Agency in Baxley? If you drive this. If you fly this. If you ride this. Lisa Pierce is serious about protecting your business investments and toys. Stop and see Lisa Pierce at 395 West Parker Street in Baxley. Or call her at 912-367-4100. She makes it personal. Underwritten by Farmers, Truck Fire Insurance Exchanges and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. Nothing beats that ride home after winning the big game. Especially if you're riding home in your new ride from Woody Falsam Chevrolet Buick GMC. Woody's highly trained team has been coached to get you the most car for your money and the most money for your car. Let us go to bat for you. Whether you're looking for the latest, greatest, top-of-the-line sports car or a safe, sensible SUV to take the kids to and from the game, you'll find your perfect ride when you talk to Woody. Together, let's drive to Woody Falls from Chevrolet Buick GMC and Baxley. Resetting your password. Unsubscribing from emails. Printing anything. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your business doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like learning how that printer works. That's simple human sense. See Rinse and Rinse Insurance, South Main Street in Baxley, or call 912-367-1479 for all your insurance needs. If you're a Class A CDL holder with at least two years of experience, come on out and apply to Williams Brothers Trucking. WBT cares about the safety of their employees, and they want you as a part of their family. They offer great benefits, competitive pay, 401K, health care, and halls that will have you back home every day. We look forward to working better together with you. Williams Brothers Trucking wants to wish the Appling County Pirate Baseball Team good luck this season, and go Pirates. 